An old lady won't get my son. I met my fiance's mom, and she chased me away. You'll never be my son's wife. He wants a girl his own age, not my elderly classmate. Colette so insisted. I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to my darling. Colette wanted to send him to school in England, and he gave in to her demands. She forbade him to communicate with me. I thought I'd talk to Colette like adults. She wouldn't even listen to me. Forget about him, or I'll ruin your life. Back then, I had no idea she truly meant it. A week later in the office, I was in the spotlight. When I went on social media, I realized why and was horrified. She's throwing herself at younger men. I never thought loving someone could be so painful. Everyone saw Colette's post, including my clients. One by one, they refused to work with me. My business suffered enormous losses, and my partner asked me to resign. I'm sorry, but we'll go bankrupt if you stay, he pleaded. I put everything I had into that business. When I left the company, I thought I'd lost everything. Until I got a call from the hospital. Stephen has had an accident and wants to see only you. Hurry, he's in critical condition. The doctor insisted. Turned out, Stephen saw that post and chose to come back. On his way from the airport, he called his mom. In a fight with her, he lost control of the car. As I sat by my sweetheart's bed, I understood what it means to lose everything. Money, business, that's nothing. The worst thing is to lose a loved one. But I wasn't allowed to be near him. What are you doing next to my son, you pervert? Colette screeched. If it weren't for you, Stephen would have never been in the accident, I retorted. You took away my love and almost killed your son. If you come here again, I'll call the police. Get out. Colette raged. I watched Stephen recover despite the complications. I snuck into the hospital every day behind Colette's back. When he needed a blood transfusion, I became his anonymous donor. Stephen's treatment cost a pretty penny. I knew Colette didn't have much. So I took out a loan to pay the medical bills. I knew I wouldn't be with the man I loved, but he had to live. I watched Stephen get discharged from outside. I was happy to see him walk out of the hospital on his own two feet. That evening, Colette received a receipt from the hospital. It was Audrey. She paid for Stephen's treatment. Colette realized destroying our relationship was a huge mistake. It's hard to believe in love between people with an age gap, but true love endures through the toughest situations. We have no right to decide who deserves to be with who. After all, love knows neither age nor distance. One evening, I was walking in the park and saw Colette again. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I ruined your life and really want to make things right, she said meekly. You saved my son. Thank you. Now I want you two to be happy. Do you still want to be my daughter-in-law? I forgot about every gripe because my sweetheart was there too. Audrey, will you marry me? Stephen asked. Yes!